So, here we are for game one. Uh, huh, this hand, it has no combo pieces and no selection, but it has mana. Uh, we're on the draw. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna keep it, but it's um, this is a very risky hand. <laughs> uh, to say the least. Um, Sure, I can draw like my combo pieces naturally and just win. Temple is pretty decent. Sure, we will keep that. So next turn we will uh, play the Pentad Prism, and then all we need is Ad Nauseum to be able to win. Uh, you also have to remember that you can use one Spirit Guide. That's fine, uh, but you need three to. Uh, uh, combo of two catacombs and nothing. That is interesting. Could be living end. That uh, would be my assumption. That kept like uh, just uh, the big spider. Could also be John. Yeah, with abrupt case, but that's fine. Uh, I'd rather have him abrupt decay in that than my unlife. And since he's not pressuring me at all, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna play this. Uh, no point running this out. Yeah, that will do. So next turn we can um, uh, pair. Uh, we can do a lot of stuff if we want to. That's a goif. All right. Yep. Do you have another abrupt decay? Nope. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, two. Yes, we can't go off this turn. Is there any point in playing this now? I don't think so. Uh, perhaps I want to fetch now. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, since it doesn't have an abrupt decay, I can. Nah, I think I will hold on to the on life one more turn. I would like to fetch pre pair just because. Um, uh, I would like to thin the deck a bit more. I mean, it's so marginal, but you never know. Gonna send in this for seven. Yep, I can also slaughter pack something if I want to. Uh, I don't think I want to, though. That's the Adnosium three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's enough. Sweet. And that basically means we win the game. Uh, let's play Frixian on life and Adnosium. Yep, we will draw our whole deck. So the way this works is that I don't lose the game for having zero or less life, uh, as long as our life is in play. And he has to hit me for 10 next turn to kill me anyway, or destroy our life of course. Let's see here, so I don't screw this up. It is very easy to screw this up online. I will draw every card. Then we will... No, no. We want to exile this. Exile this and exile 
this and now we need to find lightning storm there it is target you activate let's see that would be five damage seven damage nine damage eleven damage let's put one more land in there there we go alright yes uh, same target same target same target I hope I didn't 10 that should be 13 damage hopefully yeah very good alright that was Jund I'm pretty sure I want the ley lines uh, they typically have a lot of discard I don't want any of the packs I don't think uh, what could they bring in not that much I don't think this is bad this is not uh, useful not useful could be decent <coughs> to have yet another I mean I could bring out the slower pack because I won't kill anything uh, no <coughs> I think this is good uh, let's see here double ley line is not very useful but I guess we will keep it uh, do we keep both I guess we only need one I mean if he drops a Liliana I will one would want this in my hand and if he can kill this uh, he, he will win anyway so okay so we got the combo now we need some mana uh, I I do hope that is fast enough it depends on what he does here if this is like confident or go if maybe it's not good for us ah that's not good alright let's suspend this so we will win in a couple of turns here because we have six mana and that's the magic number we could also draw like a land and drop this and at the same time he could draw uh, maelstrom pulls and kill this and then it's game over basically that's the lightning storm that doesn't do anything Liliana here wouldn't do anything either my assumption is that he kept the hand with a lot of discard and goifs apparently um, yeah I can play that on his turn post combat <laughs> because I don't want to uh, grow the goifs and what's really interesting with this deck is that it can win at instant speed in my upkeep uh, that is not good. Now I need to draw land. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I think I will will do this. Even though it grows this guy's even more. Yeah, I gave him a slight of hand. So I need to draw land now. I did not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but I can go off anyway, right? Three, four, five. No, no, I cannot do that anyway. Uh, two, two, two. I can Angel's Grace. Then I need to draw another Angel's Grace. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I can play on life and sleight of hand. That will give me 
one more turn and I would hopefully have two mana three mana at best case scenario four mana uh, that's not good enough I guess we will angels grace but I don't think we can win from here I guess like uh yeah sure ah that was bad ah it doesn't really matter I mean if I draw like I don't know I think we're pretty dead here which is unfortunate that he had a fulminate mage just in time and I brought the K in my bloom we drew a land but uh, yeah we can't do anything okay that's too bad uh, I guess in a situation like that Drown and Sorrow would have been pretty good but I still don't think that's correct I think we have the best configuration here I mean we had a kill for two turns if we would have drawn like a land so uh, yeah I would like to play first uh, this hand I don't think it's good enough first of all if he discards my lightning storm I need to find a bubble first Second of all, it doesn't have any comb pieces, but it has a scry land and no ley line. I think I would mulligan. Well, this hand will have to do. It's extremely soft to uh, discard. But I, it's like the same hand as before, but instead of uh, having to dig for one piece, I have it and. Uh, now I like man accelerators. All right, let's see here. No, thank you. Panther prism would be the best, but now I guess yeah, my hand will be just ripped to shreds. So that's like the bad thing. You you really want to mulligan to a ley line, uh, but you can't do that obviously. Yeah, I guess we take an Angel's Grace. It's like. Kinda have to. Ooh, that's a Penta Prism. Uh, so now he has perfect information of my hand, but that's fine. Ancient Grudge, that's also not good. And this will be a Fulminator, I assume. Or a Liliana, that would be even worse. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it will be almost impossible to win from here. Um, it's like <laughs> I have to top deck perfectly, and he has to brick off completely. Yeah, and now I have no spells left in my hand, or rather, no cards left in my hand. But neither does he. But he has a Liliana that can go ultimate in two turns. Uh, I will cast that. Obviously, I have to discard it otherwise. If he bricks here, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, pr he probably drew like uh, what is it called? Uh, I brought the K here or a pulse to destroy this. 
Uh, now I need to draw land followed by ad nauseum specifically. <sighs> That's not going to do anything. Yeah, of course, and you draw your best guy. Why not? So I have like two turns, basically. Right, that's a land. That's always good. Now I need Ad nauseum. So you can attack me for 10. But that's not my biggest concern. My biggest concern is that I have to top deck right now. So I have three cards that will win me the game. Uh, might as well fetch here. Twee twee. Come on, dealer. Nope. Well, then I'm pretty sure I can't win. He could put like this versus the rest, and I have to keep this because otherwise I die. I would probably have attacked first though. Uh, shoes pile to sacrifice. So if I top deck my other two angels graces and then ad nauseum I still win. Of course very unlikely. I mean, even though they don't have Death Right Shaman anymore, this is a very powerful line of uh, 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 events. They have done like shri shred my combo piece, destroy my mana base, uh, make me discard everything I have, destroy the rest I have. Yeah. Yep, that would be game. Too bad, I will play some more games.